Sometimes back, I covered these one bit LLMs. Now you can install and use these one bit LLMs on Apple Silicon using MLX. I don't have Apple, so I won't be able to show you how exactly it works, but I can show you how to install it. Plus, before that, I am going to give you a bit of an overview because I believe that not only on Apple Silicon, we might see an influx of these one bit models on various devices and operating systems. In recent years, the field of AI has seen a rapid growth in size and capabilities of these LLMs. These models have demonstrated remarkable performance in a wide range of natural language processing tasks. But their increasing size has posed challenges for deployment and raised concerns about environmental and economic impact due to high energy consumption. One approach which you have seen me using is to use post-training quantization to create low bit models for inference. Quantization reduces the precision of weights and activations, significantly reducing the memory and computational requirements of LLM. The trend has been to move from 16 bits to lower bits, such as 8 bit and 4 bit variants. But post training quantization is suboptimal, but still it is being used quite a lot. But there has been a lot of work on these 1 bit model architectures, such as BitNet. And that presents the promising direction for reducing the cost of LLMs while maintaining their performance. Vanilla LLMs are in 16 bit floating point, which could be FP16 or BF16, and the bulk of any LLM is matrix multiplication. So the major computation cost comes from the floating point addition and multiplication operations. But in BitNet, the matrix multiplication only involves integer addition, which saves orders of energy for LLMs, and that is the whole magic behind it. So, if I show you the paper, in this paper, these researchers have um, introduced this one bit LLM called as BitNet B1.58, where every parameter is ternary, taking on values of minus one, zero, or one. That's it. And they have added an additional value of 0 to the original 1 bit bitnet, resulting in 1.58 bits in the binary system. Bitnet B1.58 retains all the benefits of the original 1 bit bitnet, including its new computational paradigm, which requires almost no multiplication operations for matrix multiplication and can be highly optimized. Also, it has the same energy computation as the original 1 bit bitnet and is much more efficient in terms of memory consumption, throughput and latency compared to FP16 LLM baseline. BitNet 1.58 offers two additional advantages. Firstly, its modeling capability is stronger due to its explicit support of feature filtering because zero was included in the model weights, which can significantly improve the performance of one bit LLMs. Secondly, the experiments show that BitNet B1.58 can match full precision baseline in terms of both perplexity and end task performance. Now, there are a lot of good things happening in this one. If we go back here, you will see that this is the architectural diagram which I have just explained and um, you could read more in that paper. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo too in video's description. Now coming back to this one, all the tests passing for Microsoft BitNet 1.58 bit LLM um, have also passed for this MLX implementation, which enables you that you can now run this model from Microsoft to Edge devices like iPad, iPhone, MacBook, since it uses seven times less memory and 71 times less energy than Llama, which is saying something. So if you're a Mac user or iPhone, iPad user, I think this is huge and you should really look into that and you can install it easily. Let me give you a quick overview of the installation steps, which is not hard at all. So all you need to do is to git clone this repo on your system, uh, Apple Silicon or whatever you are using, then install all the requirements by using this pip and then you can download the model weights from Hugging Face and convert them for use with MLX by 
they are provided this python convert script and let me quickly show you that convert script too which is not that hard at all all they are using they are using numpy and pytorch they are getting some shared replacements patterns for different layers and then from there they are using encoder decoder and replacing the key value cache that's all they are doing there you go how good is that so it's all open source this is another beauty of it once that conversion is done you can use interoperability test to just text uh, everything is fine by using this you can also use un, uh, long running text and then you can simply save it that's all you need to do and then you can do the inference or whatever you want to do and your model will be one bit model will be running on this uh, apple silicon easily and efficiently so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you have access to mac <clears throat> and apple silicon and please share your experience in the comments if, <clears throat> if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching